I think it's helped me to focus on the things that are uh, essential. Um, and that's something that was even true when I remember when I was growing up. Uh, you know, for example, um, in a military setting, it's often not possible to have all of the furnishings, all of the supplies, and all that we would have in, our, in a regular Catholic church. And so you have to be able to make do sometimes with a space or with supplies that aren't quite what you would normally have. And I think that can be very helpful in assisting a priest or um, you know, anybody really participating in what's most essential, you know, that you don't have to have elaborate music, for example, you don't have to have a real uh, specifically decorated church, uh, you know, you can, uh, like I said, I mean, I've celebrated Mass, and this is true in, uh, uh, in Southeast Alaska, too, I mean, I've celebrated Mass in, uh, uh, well, you know, jails, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know and, uh, and of course on bases, and then in these little forward operating bases in uh, Iraq or Afghanistan, I mean, it would just be, uh, you know, we'd be in like a plywood building and uh, uh, we'd have just a regular rough table and uh, you know, I'd uh, get out my mass kit, uh, which I actually have here. Uh, but you see, this is what I would carry around when I went uh, outside the wire, as they would say. Uh, and so, you know, this is a, a camouflage chasuble hook stand. And then here you have uh, water and wine and, and hosts <laughs> and uh, this is a government issued crucifix <laughs> actually that's not the original the original one got stolen that they uh they were having an exhibition where i showed this and then th this is where you really know you know you're down to what's essential <laughs>